By the way, 35 kills for this Sherman. Pretty damn good. Hey guys, before the main video starts, if you want to support the channel, again, like, subscribe, or become a channel member. Every little bit helps, and I greatly appreciate everyone who watches this video. Enjoy. Hello everyone, this is Grayshot17 here. Uh, just losing his mind, as always, but covering another 4v4 Company Bros 2 match. This time, we got ourselves a number of key combatants. This time we have Art Artem, uh, Donnie, Main Acrobat, Pedro, Badabit, Showtime, Yale, and Rebus. Four OKW versus two uh, Americans and two Soviets. Lots of uh, good playtime between all the players. If you have some good playtime in Co2 or Co3, you know, you can submit a replay to me via my Gmail down below, gpreplays at gmail.com, or my Discord also down below. Hopefully it's working. Either case, I will showcase your replay. Hopefully, um... I've been trying to do better at separating them and get a nice wide selection uh, for people to showcase. But, uh, you know, and I try to be consistent. Realize it's Easter weekend coming on up, so I'll probably do a replay Saturday. But I'll make an announcement when I'm doing that. Uh, keep up to date with my Discord because I put a little vents as to when all my streams are. Uh, so, you know. Anyway, what I... I am currently watching is the allies by Pedro do a pretty damn good job in the in the forest pushing back a lot of axes close range troops Huntful Solaire by Erebus uh, being driven a well driven the cover rifling should beat them unless they have support which I don't oh stir there's support close range uh, moving on in the rifleman. They won't save the Huntful Solaire. Uh, he's gonna have to be forced back, but they will kill a rifleman and uh, potentially kill another squad, maybe Rashlon? Or is he gonna try to go for the Rifleman, the big boy? I don't think he'll win. The Rashlon is weaker, so it's, it's more squishy. Get the squishy. Kill the squishy! Get the squishy. No, yeah, you only got another model. Okay, it's fine. Uh, German forces regain the initiative, and Yale over here with his wolf. And 221 coming on in hold this sector but it looks like there was a mine over here or something and uh Kubel loses nearly everything in that push meanwhile on the left hand side things are looking better i'm sorry worse for the allies as the germans manage to push uh all the way in and take the pretty much the outskirts of this small town right here uh sure uh the allies have this initial stage point to push up but if the axis manage to hold on to this sector things go bad actually uh, there was an army heal artem uh actually has uh two penals and an engineer throws incendiary nice burning effect on three squads another uh, incendiary grenade going off yes yeah, so many men are slowly burning plus two two one coming on in has a second two two one two elite armored uh double penals dying uh no sorry it was an engineer and a penal dying potentially this will be a Second penal's dying. Just lots of dead Soviets is what I'm trying to get out of this. Uh, penal's trying to stop them. I get a lot of penals, which eh, could work. Usually, I recommend one support and one penal. So you have the strong front line with the heavy explosives with the mortars and MGs to back that up. Plus, maybe a scout car for good measure. Uh, but, yeah, no, we're, that, we're not seeing that. Also, we're seeing one American and one Soviet front. We're not seeing out. We're not seeing like cooperation. So if the Axis can really figure out what to do, they could smash the Allies. But the same can be said about the OKW. If the Allies figure out what they're doing, in this case, double lead armor, so light armor focus, you know, Sturm Tiger, that nonsense. Uh, you know, Huntsville Slayer focus. So when the counters for that, then they might have themselves like, oh, we can counter that. We know what to do. Uh, so in this case, we have a lieutenant with a bazooka, which is about to pop on out here in a second. Just take the shot! Oh, hits the tree. That's unfortunate. Could have potentially killed the LS221 if he would have dove out and fired long range like a hell diver. That's right. That's what Kotu needs. They, they need, uh, active vaulting for the troops to f jump out in front to gain the extra distance. Not like, uh, oh god, what, Tommy Lee Jones in Volcano, which he... Uh, ran out and dove in front of a person to push them away a foot while a building came down. It's like, buddy, you move them a foot. An entire building came down. What are you doing? I, that recently came up because my girlfriend didn't know about the whole volcano, Dante's Peak. Personally, I like Dante's Peak a lot more. I really enjoy Dante's Peak. Just a solid disaster movie with uh, great, with very good practical effects. Anyway, 
Penal's uh, pushing on in to, uh, with Petar's rifles to destroy the cover. Axe is actually pulling back quite a bit. Lo looks like the allies are managing to regain the city. Uh, Middle's, though, been captured by Showtime. And commander-wise, we have Luftwaffe ground forces. So not all elite armored, just most. Uh, we have ourselves, of course, the elite armored by Batabit. Oh, uh, wait, is it Batabit? Yeah. Uh, we got uh, Rebus going with Grand Defensive which more, with more Punchable Slayers. So it seems like Falschermakers and Punchable Slayers for the, uh, for the heavier or, you know, long-range infantry. And then you have the Elite Armored with the stronger armor focus. Uh, plus, although there's some good armor stuff here with the uh, Panzer Commander. What do the allies have? Guard Mortars. So again, good T-34s and Mark Target plus guards that can do quite a bit. And it is a decent ca uh, counter, I would say. If you're going against like Punceful Slee or stuff like that, long range. And it definitely fighting off armor. Um, the only issue is the fact that, uh, I mean, heavy mortar is good too, but you have taken some severe, a lot of casualties. And it looks like the Axis might be able to grab the fuel, which definitely wouldn't help trying to get out T 3045. Uh, IS 2s on the field. We'll see how that does. Again, I've not been the biggest fan of the IS 2, but maybe this will be the game that changes it. I'm always open. To embracing the IS-2, but it is not ever been. It, it, how about this? It's never well. It's never been easy. All right, the IS-2 has never made it an easy relationship for me to like it. It's always been extremely difficult. Uh, Punzful Slayers drive away the uh, riflemen. Uh, additional squads on standby. Punzful Slayers. Uh, well, uh, they're just chilling on the forest with G43s. Again, we have ourselves a G23 now with the upgrade, getting resources, aka the fuel. So that's pretty good for him with 33 fuel per turn. Yale is doing a lot of work. Stern Pioneer putting pressure, driving the enemy away. Reshlon might. Oh my god, the body block. Almost killing the Reshlon. How dare you? How dare you try. No, it's. it's... Uh, poor, the poor pathfinding. Anyway, uh, nice cutoff. Allies just taking it back. Grenade is thrown. Oh, smoke grenade. Interesting. Getting up close to devastate, but Penal tried to get out of there. He could not. I guess he was trying to get him out. Is there an MG? There is no MG. So shock troops can just go crazy and stun their own men. Oh, wow. That was a misfire on your part, wasn't it? Showtime just having a real bad time. Actually, all the German bulk squads and Sturms are now retreating. Shock troops are nearly vet one and have barely taken any damage. They're now hunting a support gun. It probably can't outrun the shock troops. It's a, it's a goner. Well, I know thee well. Poor support gun. Yeah, there it goes. It's, it's... There it goes. It's, it's just a goner. Oh, wait, no! Smoke grenade gets out, gets vet one. He's gonna pull back. All right. Looks like Soviet forces, more shock troops, a lot of heavy infantry. That's a lot of manpower to focus on these guys. Uh, hopefully, again, you're placing mines or other defenses. What about the Soviet player, the other one, Artyom? Again, double guard, but no support. That's the thing. You have a lot of solid infantry, but you have nothing to hold the front, like MGs or mortars or something. Uh, nice cash. Snuka hits the front. I I think it was a miss. It was. Rebus completely backfired. Path track moving on in. You can see from my strategic view. Uh, that allows me to zoom out. Uh, that, yeah, it was kind of a miss. Rifleman fired through the fire at the bulk squads at long range. With good veterans all around. Same thing with the bulk. Not many kills, though. Uh, that one has nine kills. Double AT to help, uh, hold this half track back. Good shot right there. Rashalon going to take that back. Our fighting position now has some ordnance behind it. Let's see. Huntsville Slayer moving on in. And yeah, half track is retreating. Like, nope, I'm out. I'm not dealing with this. We have shots firing in the Punzful Slayers. Another uh, wave coming along this left-hand side. They're trying to get it close. I'll give credit for trying multiple avenues, but the Allies doing a decent job at defending it. Howitzer about to be deployed. Uh, looks like we have a Major moving on up. Maybe he's going to try to stealth cap the victory point. 
Good luck. AT guns are primed to fire. They're using direct fire to try to hit it. They do! They do manage to hit it! Arebus with the shot off the front. Yeah, I would absolutely say it's a snipe. 100%. Now, that is fine in my book. I, in the last game, I kind of been like, yeah, you're being me. No, that was a hell of a hit. I would absolutely gloat about that. All right. Stuff like that, absolutely fine with. That's, that's a heck of a shot. So, uh, Volk squads are moving up with the MG and uh, we're cut. We're for 2-2-3? Two, two, yeah, moving on in. Half health. Probably should get that healed up. Anyway, Pedro went infantry company. Forgot to mention that. Pro I mean, not bad idea to upgrade your rifleman, though. It looks like he may have lost his squad there. Um, the force is mo looking more and more likely the Germans have it. They did a good push, but I feel like the Germans, especially if they start getting... Man, I mean, I guess the medical closer, so that makes sense. But, like, yeah, medical facilities stuff to hold. Stuka does hit both, but doesn't really kill anything. Just kills some models. Left-hand side shock troops are doing damage... They just need some support, like an MG covering them or something like that, but they just aren't getting it. Um, they're on standby. They're going to hide it, uh, behind this building for now. But right now, yeah, this Soviet player needs additional uh, some firepower. And I think a heavy mortar would be perfect. A 120 is devastating to the German forces. I think it would absolutely pulverize a lot of this stuff. Anyway. We look over here, Yale is pushing back the American player. Eh, okay, Howitzer might have an effect on that. We'll see. Uh, hits the Rakenwerfer with a great shot. Victory point wise, though. Germans are leading the Allies. Oh, uh, sorry, no. No, no, no. The Allies are leading the Germans 40 points. But the Axis currently have two command points, so they're slowly pushing down the Allied player. So not too shabby, all things considered. Uh... And again, looks like the Germans have more than enough men and artillery uh, to drive the enemy away. Unlike Co 3, Co 2 Stuka rocks. So, uh, Co 2, get the Stuka. Co 3, don't get the Stuka. Don't, don't kid yourself. Get Neville Warfare or the Italian artillery. It's way better for you. But yeah, maybe, I mean, he's, got, but this one, I think it's just his direction, which he's aiming at. He just hasn't really been able to get a good wipe, but I suspect he'll probably get one sooner rather than later. Speaking of which, uh, you're literally going around trying to sneak around them, but uh, yeah, it doesn't work out. Oh, he's dropping smoke. That's actually not a bad place. Smoke to get around, but what are you targeting? Arebus going in deep for what I don't know. What I do know is right now, resource-wise, the allies are not doing too bad thanks to the caches. Uh, here comes the Stuka. Actually, was not too bad. Could have been, I mean, six models, but it could have been way worse. Uh, Captain pushes back the Stern Pioneer. Right now, the Ponsible Slayers continue to push on up. Ambulance will help heal. Left-hand side, we have a lot of troops coming on in with Volk Squads, Falschermangers. Uh, again, a lot of solid infantry, but I... What are the allies going to bring in? Oh, a caddy. Okay, that's some good rocket artillery. And a T-3045. Okay. Hopefully, you get yourself a 120. Because even late game, that thing can do a lot. And remember, it can retreat with one model, which helps a lot. It stuns the American forces. It also probably helps reveal where they are. So if the Tsuka just gets a clear shot along this uh, fence, it probably will kill a lot of men. So we'll see. Right now, again, uh, we might actually see a repositioning of the Allied army. Sherman is heading left, but in the meantime, uh, we have German armor coming out now. Yale bringing out Panzer IV. Remember, this one has not only the Panzer Commander being upgraded, but the high explosive AT rounds, which are pretty solid. Now, again, uh, it does quite a bit to our, uh, the infantry as well, but point is, it's very potent and can make sure it, the Panzer IV can go from a stalemate to maybe uh, a little bit more uh, of an advantage against a target. It, it, what I'm trying to say is T-3045 would typically win against a Panzer IV, but the big counter, in my opinion, is, is if with those heat rounds is it kind of ups the damage. So while it can't necessarily take the damage, it can still dish out a lot of damage and at least make the, the T-3045 regret fighting it. So, uh, Panzer IV moving on in. So let's see. He could potentially move on up. Where's the... Oh, there's some AT gun repositioning. 
But yeah, I mean like the axes aren't dumb. They're gonna keep charging. Also, it looks like we have artillery to kill the cache. Not a bad idea. Also, might kill this on the retreat. Will he be so lucky? He does! It's a hole in one. All right, maybe two birds, one stone, actually, is better terminology, because he killed the Rashalon and the Cash in one go. So, excellent job there. Uh, Rifleman and the, the uh, Lieutenant right there. Doing their best. A lot of the German forces just domino effect. Again, like, why wouldn't you domino in this situation? All right, here's the Caddy opening fire. Oh, my God, full blob in full retreat. Lucky that the... the uh, Caddy didn't hit that blob. There's so many good men right there. Uh, T-34 trying to get some good shots in against all the German infantry right there. Conscripts, uh, taking, I guess, being the squishy, uh, you know, punching bag here. They're about to die. He's, he is about to die, isn't he? Yeah, he died. Okay. Artem doesn't exactly have a great, uh, you know, micro skill. All right, pull back before you get fousted. Shock troops, though, meeting the blob firsthand. Oh, there goes Showtime again. All right, Sherman holding back some of the German forces. Uh, Rifleman coming in to plug the gap over here. Right now, this is the biggest thing. If the Allies can kill this German blob, clear this sector, then go help their ally. They might be able to help, but I feel like their, you know, big fighting potential just retreated. And now, what's left of the German potential is going to come at them and they don't have anything to stop it, right? That's that's my thoughts on the matter. Up oh, there's a satchel, but he aimed at where they were, not where they were going. Although, he did get a couple models. Can't be that mad. But Falschmagers are no joke, and they're already racking up a lot of kills in their short deployment time. Uh, Sherman coming on in. High explosive rounds hits the Falschmagers. Let's see. Great shots across the board. All right. So right now, allies are not doing great. They only have 17 fuel, 27 munitions. Axe is 57 munitions, 35 fuel, 42 for Yale, given the fact he has that uh, nice little, uh, you know, uh, sorry, 223, uh, sucking up all the resources. Panzer four opening fire on the captain. They're keeping that place decapped. Allies need to do something because it is not looking good for them. A T gun does open fire. We have artillery in here. Uh, about to get a bulldozer vault. Wait, why'd you go? Why? Why are we a company? Oh my god. Okay. I have a love hate relationship with this doctrine. It's 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 a lot. Heat rounds are firing. That should help pen that bulldozer. But the problem is the T gun right there, and hopefully they can snare it. But no, nope, misses and he pulls away before they could do anything. So good shots there. Panther on the field thinks the bat a bit. And uh, there are some uh, penals with Petros rifles there to hopefully keep it at bay. But, oh, high explosive rounds uh, hits. Barely misses the bulk. 2 2 3 moving on in. Why? Like, why? So I guess taking the shots. Wh whatever. Uh, shock troop moving on in. Oh, well, Sadan. I'm assuming he's going to grenade. Honestly, just run him over. Run him over. That's right. Good. Cr oh, look at that. Oh, luckily he retreated. Showtime could have been crushed. Wait, is that a mine? Oh, okay. It's a German mine. I was like, is that a Soviet mine? Come on. Kill them all. Oh, nice grenade. Oh, my God. Throw a grenade. Come on. They actually blew up the mine by accident. We have air support coming on in. Uh, where's that caddy? No, caddy's dead. Caddy died. Shock troops, again, a lot of kills. Not a lot of munitions, though. To throw another grenade. It would have been perfect. Bundle grenades uh, in the secondary go off. Air support comes on in. It's the infantry and the Sherman on retreat. Clears uh, the way and keeps this area from being a complete catastrophe for the Axis. And that's a problem for the Axis as well. I know I keep harping on the Allies. The Axis are in the same boat. They have nothing to defend. So you have two like offensive armies that literally push each other back and forth. But it seems like the Allies, weirdly enough, already have been doing a better job at pushing the Axis back pretty far. Although the Axis still have that medical facility as a springboard, so they'd be able to push back harder. 
in terms of reclaiming the territory pretty quickly, right? The allies follow them back to base, axes then take everything else. So it just keeps going back and forth like that. Meanwhile, on the right, it's not going great. Main Acrobat and Pedro are having a real rough time uh, fighting off uh, the, you know, Erebus and Yale. They have moved past their forest fight and now pretty much uh, a fight outside of the allied fuel. Not where you want to be. Nice high explosive round, almost kills the Ponsible Slayer. Jackson helps keep the Panther at bay. But again, there, you need more front line and you need to make sure the infantry and everything are, you know, killed. Wiped, not brought back, because otherwise, if the enemy has more infantry, they can bring up AT, cover the the AT, and then your you know tanks start having issues from all the uh, pack guns and whatnot. For Ken purposes in this case, shooting you. Uh, there is some M1 AT guns opening fire now. We could extend the range as well, but again, the Allies don't have the veterancy, uh, not veterancy, the munitions to really keep using that. Uh, luckily, the AT gun doesn't get out of the way. I hear a big tank. Oh boy. All right. Donnie, this is your opportunity. Show me what you can do with this IS-2. All right. No pressure, no issue, but I need you also. Yeah, there's the kill on the caddy. I need you to sh finally show me the power of the IS-2. Cause man, oh man, people love deploying this tank in replays, but it always fails. Almost always. So let's not fail, all right? Let's not fail. Uh, Panzer IV, though, uh, well, takes the M1 like a champ, just bounce right off. Bulldozer can only take the hits, can't really dish it out. We have a uh, artillery strike thanks to the Panzer IV's uh, already ability, coordinate barrage. And there he goes. Allied AT gun has been destroyed. Wait, the 223 revealed it? Oh, right, signal relay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right, I assume is at one kill and is already down to 40% health. Luckily, the infantry might be able to stick it out. Come on, can we button? Nice grenade. A mine hits the T-34s. Ice 2 now engaging the Panther. Uh, infantry as well, but there's the blob right here. Again, Caddy would be great. Does not have that. MG would be great to suppress that. Doesn't have that either. And again, this man is using Valiant Assault to increase the effectiveness of these troops by quite a large margin. So right now, these Fallschmagers are just blasting the enemy. Unfortunately, they retreated thanks to a high explosive Ice 2 shot and grenade. Probably should not have zoomed in for that, but, uh, you know, that's my mistake. Oh my god, showtime. You, what happened? Oh, well, I, that's what happens when you zoom in. You get too close. Too close to the action. Uh, well, T-3045s are in a bit of a... But f if you do, f if you don't situation. Luckily, with the IS-2 coming in and such, they're able to get the hell out of there and kill the Rakenwerfer. Again, we have, uh, air support? No, artillery support coming on in on the T-345s. Hold on, the Ice-2 could, never mind, artillery kills it. Maybe if the Peedles open fire? Okay, uh, no. No, Panther lives. No main gun, but they, they do live. Throw a grenade, now get out of there. Remember, you you killed it, great, but there's still the false meters and everything right there. He has no manpower, he's getting himself another Panther, okay. So that's going to be a delay. All right. Allies definitely did damage. Uh, Artem, I would recommend getting an army because you have none. Uh, you know, just something, anything. But, uh, sure. At least you're able to get some decent kills. And right now, some of the Axis players are down. Other ones not doing too bad. Gale and Arebus, both doing pretty well. Oh, Panzer IV got decrewed. What did I miss? I guess the AT gun managed to snipe it. Are we gonna get a steal? Are uh, no. I think he was trying to heal it, but then decided to kill it. So Panzer IV meets its maker. Damn, that was a good Panzer IV too. All right, so it looks like you know Rebus and Yao are taking some casualties. Pedro and Main Acrobat, while they've also suffered a 
slowly rebuilding their army and actually are getting some decent trades in. So not too shabby. Pay a three dag punts were there. They still have, you know, armor to deal with, but the allies are slowly coming back. The question on my mind is can the allies come back in a meaningful way? And I, re I say that because, and I'll be very clear, uh, they have less than 200 points remaining. So, oh! Oh, they hit a mine. Oh, wait a second. Showtime just spent all of his resources into the... I... Mm. You have my attention. Now, Ally... I mean, Axe is definitely are throwing this right now. Uh, they are throwing it really hard. But you know what? You have my attention. Oh, wait. That T-34 was not expecting that. It's like, uh... Sir, I was here for the medical. I was not here for you. And he's going to back on up. King Tiger is going to give chase. He is hold fire right now. He's trying to get the hell out of Dodge. Hits the mines on the way out, which is hilarious. And does manage to pull back and get out of that entire... Well, that's, you know, fight. The Kenwifer is still there, but out of range. IS-2 now engaging the king with guards in a building that's about to fall over. Uh, this whole area needs a caddy. Please get yourself a caddy. Like seriously, it pays. It pays to have a caddy. It uh, against OKW. It's it's it literally. It it will pay you. Uh, it's so good. Also, uh, cash. I mean, I get why they're not because they barely held the front as is. But still, cash would be effective, be helpful. Yeah. Let's see. Is there any German mines left? I don't see any. Are there any allied mines left? Are there any mines left? I'm not seeing any mines in the sector, so I think... Wait. Nope, just one mine over here. Okay. So Germans, uh, aka Badabit, has a king and a panther, so he's gained his army back. Showtime is not. Showtime is essentially gone, so it's a 3v4 right now. Uh, the good news is, uh, it seems like the, the two on the right will need support, so... Since the right side is so bad uh, for the allies. Oh, wait. Nice Volk Squad kill. And AT guns are getting some really nice shots. Can we kill the Yagponser? We do. All right. AT gun needs to quickly get the hell out of there. He's about to lose a vet three AT gun thanks to the uh, coordinated barrage. Damn it. Well, uh, you win some, you lose some, I guess. The allies are definitely losing some. 50 cows opening fire. Can we suppress? We're starting to suppress. There's just so many German infantry. I don't think he's going to win against that. Also, the assault engineer. Why? High explosive rounds hit the AT gun. Kills that. Uh, 50 cal doing when it does best in suppress. T-34s and I-SU-5-2 are engaging. I would assume the king would be better because the heat round, especially with the panther supporting. Falschmagers. Oh, oh, we only have Falschmagers. That's it. Okay. He's trying to run him over again. Oh, what a crush! Artem is doing a hell of a job with those T-34s and the crushing power. Uh, sure, he's... I know he's gaining back infantry. But, like, alright, we have a caddy and we have... Uh, probably need more engineers. Oh, my God! Pull back the caddy! Why? Every time you fire, pull back! Oh, my God! It's... It's like they, oh, yeah, it's like, come on. How did you even know it was there? He used the force. I mean, he probably just, you know, aimed down sights or he just had his, uh, actually, no, this thing has been back there. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna guess he just detected. He just was trying to chase the ISO 52 saw and ran. That's my guess. Oh wait, no, this has extended sight too, so you do get a slightly better sight. So that also could be it. Anyway, Punchful Slayer's opening fire on the penals. Uh, doesn't kill it. Axes are looking even better. Again. I, 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 it's funny how it's like, Grayshot told him to get the caddy and it died. Yes, I told him to get the caddy, but here's the thing. You have to make sure it lives. You have to make sure it's protected. 
It was out there by itself. Uh, AT gun is brought back up. There's another one that's deep through. We have some artillery in the back. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Is it major artillery? I think it's major artillery. Whatever case, it did kill some stuff. The icons are missed. Uh, we have some small pushes in forest. Uh, potential browning can be picked up. Now, at this point, King is just going to get free kills with the Obel but at least they're decapping territory, you know, getting some good hits in. Doing what they can, I guess. All right. Bulldozer on the field with 27 kills. Main Acrobat at least getting the infantry killing power in. Reba's having a real tough time with his infantry. And to be fair, even Yale's doesn't have that much veteran C with his troops. Or, sorry, that many veteran troops in the grand scheme of things. But, they are still holding force. They are still causing lots of damage to the allies, the Axis. Sorry, the, sorry let me rephrase that. The Axis are still doing a lot of damage to the allies. The, the, ally, the allies are still pushed back, and right now they're still losing the victory point war by a quite large margin. Also, artillery. Coordinate, I love coordinate barrage. It's so nice. It, it's like free AT gun kills, because most people can't don't react fast enough. It, it's fantastic. T-34s, though, are clearing up a lot of bad of its men on the left. Panther's trying to assist. They do have the victory point here. IS-2 fighting off the king. And I will, you know what? I will give credit. The IS-2 actually fighting off the king and doing a good job of holding it back. Positive. That, that's probably one of the better IS-2s. It hasn't died, right? It's it's actually gotten kills, and it's holding back a superior armored unit with better abilities than it, right? Donnie, you're doing a pretty good job with that IS-2. I'm not, uh, I'll am not. i give you credit there. You're probably going to lose this uh, thanks to artillery. And that's Artem's, not his. But still, the Soviets are not doing half bad. Now they just need the Americans to actually gain some ground. Which sounds like normal Soviets, but, you know, take that for what it's worth. Uh, Major moving on up. Uh, Resource-wise, 37.23, 32.52, plus, of course, the additional bump for the Axis overall. Uh, American infantry coming on in. Hodgepodge of different forces, but we have a couple Jacksons. Uh, Panther's taking a number of hits. The Icons are very low on health. Stuka, 27 kills. King is up to 14. Uh, Lieutenant, push on up. Hopefully this drive might allow them to take the victory point. Panther, though, advancing. Nice uh, Shrek hits the Jackson. I, uh, sorry, high explosive. By the way, 35 kills for this Sherman. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good for a Sherman. 37. As much as you guys can say, oh, the Americans have been pushed back. They're still getting kills. And now we have armor companies, uh, artillery, coming on down to just bash away any of the armor or infantry for at least a little bit of time. Not a, a large amount of time, but just enough. Come on, round hit right here. That'll be great. No other opposite direction. Yeah. Bulldozer having a rough time versus the king. He's using heat rounds too. Why are you aiming closer to the uh, allies? Hey, hit the enemy. Anyway, Jackson made to fire through the forest, hit the king. He's gonna drive it back. By the way, the, uh, king is using spearhead, so he increases its sight. Allies actually took the territory. Nice shot with, I mean, the, the artillery from the, uh, what is it, the 240. Came on in, knocked out the uh, Ken Murfer. Jackson actually killed it. Hold on, big push on the left. IS-2 goes down. Of course, the IS-2 goes down. It can never live. But uh, they actually managed to kill the base. Uh, kill, wait. King Tiger is being targeted by the double Jackson. Panther went down. King Tiger went down by bad a bit. You know what, IS-2 killed the King Tiger in mutual combat. A plus. T-34s, uh, they need to heal up. But the left side is kaput. This is what the allies needed. Triple VP. They actually grabbed the territory on the right. I did not expect an allied counterattack, but I am glad to see it. Now, the Axis are in a bit of a rough patch. Because weirdly, they're being pushed back. Took a little bit of uh, steam. Or it's time for the allies to, you know, start, you know, ramping up. 
But yeah, allies are absolutely ramping up, and Jacksons are hitting the armor pretty effectively. Infantry support as well. Shock troops dealing with the Pontifical Slayers. S25 potentially killing the Panzer headquarters, which say goodbye to a lot of any more armor for Showtime. I mean, that would be a big win. Armor just got healed up thanks to the uh, repairs. So they're just going to steamroll this also not in Falschmaker blob, which, by the way, has no AT. So if these guys just, again, do, he's going to run him over again, isn't he? You know what? Keep doing the same trick if it works. And yeah, he's just going to retreat and just hold him back. Nice shot. King Tiger pretty low. The blob is in full retreat and panic mode. King has no gun. Left side is faltering. The right's not much better. Half track got knocked out. Main gun for a lot of the armor is neutralized. And again, the allies are not losing their armor. Like, what is happening? Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, some solid plays all across the board. Allies keeping their armor alive. Killing Axis. Hitting a weak point. Hitting areas that are undefended. I... Like, again, the allies are having a rough patch in the beginning. They, they are getting a lot better, and they are doing what they needed to. They have come back swinging. And, uh, yeah, sure, you have the uh, German air support. But another building goes down, which is pretty damn vital for Showtime losing all this. Because, again, it's just more stuff you can't use in the future. More stuff you need to put down later, which will cost a lot of resources. To be fair, he has 350 fuel. But manpower-wise, he's not doing all that great. Please throw or button that panther. Oh, it is buttoned. Nice! Jackson coming on in. Could we see the panther being smacked down by Rebus? Grenade is thrown. Vet 5 panther. Nothing to sneeze at, but it will blitz away. Does escape, unfortunately. Blob is there. Donnie, you want to get yourself another caddy? Third time's the charm, I always say. I don't. But uh, also maybe get a, a, like, you know, one AA gun. Come on, guys. Anyway. Uh, Yale's still trying his best. He did take over the right with the Volk, so he stops the bleed by about 100, after 100 points. Nice Stuka hits the 50 cal and the penals. A lot of Jagdpanzers. Again, it looks like they are doing a good job of sniping, sorry, sniping the Jacksons. The heat rounds are coming on in. Excellent job. Again, without the AT and stuff, the Jagdpanzers are doing work. Three vehicle kills. Okay, this is the actual counterattack we needed. Unfortunately for him, time on target in 240? No, 240 has just been called in this sector. Medical is very close to dying. All right. T-34s come on over. Ponsville Slayer is not moving in. There's no way with those T-3045s rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, we have a king. Another. We have three king tigers. We have three king tigers on the field. All right. Do we have, actually, do we have four? Hold on. No, Batabit wants to be the odd man out and not get a King Tiger, of course. But, uh, weirdly, the mortar carriage is almost killing the medical back here. 240 sewing the front. Again, bleed is still going on for the Axis, but it is slower. And right now, the Allies are maybe losing a bit of initiative. Again, we have a player like Arebus coming back. Although, to be fair, he's coming back, but, uh,. Might not see that for very long. Penal's coming along the side. He's going to need to pull back. Otherwise, the Penal's could uh, get close and throw a satchel on him, which is not what he wants, fun fact. He gets in the building. Uh, he can take it, like, two more shots, but at least he'll get long-range hits on the King. S-35 needs heals. Lots of Falschebakers. Like, this man, Showtime, just pumping out the Airborne, which is like, all right, sure, cool. Uh... This is this is where you really want the caddy, Donnie. I I know it has failed you like twice, but get a caddy, Artem. Get a caddy, Art with Artyom. Hey, it's Artyom, right? Anyway, I have Metro on the brain. Order carriage hitting the Huntsville Slayers. The Icons just getting some uh, shots on target. Can he escape? He's going to try to direct fire, I assume. Bet five, by the way. Hell. Just took out an entire gun crew. Uh, T-3485 is hiding behind the trees. Armors come out in force. Oh, another IS-2. 
is, are you gonna die like the rest? Oh, bounces there. No, you will not. You actually survived. Unfortunately, S-85 is fighting off a lot of armor. Penal's moving on in. This Penal, very close. Panther goes down thanks to an S-85 Jackson combo. The Blob is back. We got, uh, actually a Priest on the field. Why the 85s is injured. There's a mine over here stopping the advance. Otherwise, that advance could have absolutely swung around here and killed all this. So, great job stopping that flank. But, uh, this blob is now going to hit the penals in the building. It's dead. Yeah, there it goes. Shock Troop's going to push on up to try to take this out. Jackson pulling on back. Again, three victory points. Allies doing a good job at wearing down the axes. But, I feel like we're about to be in a situation where the axes will get back mid and potentially the left it depends how this blob does and where these 85s are 85 just healed never mind and he has another one another one oh i look you have four get a caddy caddy's so good at especially shotgunning these blobs unless you're gonna run it over all right rto run it over come on come on you can do it i believe i believe i believe all right anyway uh one jackson remains from this American, the other American has bulldozer, not really much of a Jackson, but does have 38 kills. Suka is holding on to this position. Right, Yale grabbing back the right. So hold on. Oh, he just built the Panzer headquarters right too. Actually, both of them did. Oh no. Oh man, bad a bit. Hey, oh, you got your Panther out in time. Uh, unfortunately, it's uh. This is what 4v4 is all, all about. Yep. Left hand side. Oh my god. That's that's 240 fuel if he gets this. The king is trying. And the T3045s are losing like their effectiveness. But uh, at the very least you can say that they caused a hell of a lot of damage. They killed one base. They're hurting the AT guns. Another 85 coming on up. He did lose one. So they're not going to deny that. He lost one of the new ones but now the axes have mid and the right putting on the pressure which the allies don't have much breathing room like to be fair they have done a great job at countering the axes but they didn't have much breathing room if they that failed right also uh erebus not too big of an army yale uh, not bad uh, I mean, again, he has probably the biggest army of the Axis and most reserves. He does. Showtime, strangely, is in second. Bad a bit having a real rough time. Going the over spam after his Panther died. Whoops. I'm assuming it was somewhere over here, but... Uh, wow, IS-2 is actually alive again. I mean, it never died. I mean, sorry, that one didn't die. The last one did, but that one's still fighting. Is there another Panzer headquarters? No. He didn't build it already. Oh, good snipe on the mortar carriage, though. All right, that's what they access to keep needs to do. He needs to keep getting those quick hits in and getting the hell out of there. All right, Priest is firing, though. Potentially could kill the Jagdpanzer. I think it's more of a creeping barrage, right? No, he doesn't have the veteran see, so it's just all over the place. One shot could kill that Jagdpanzer if, if he hits there. I don't know where... Oh my god, no! Two guards were just lost in the building! Oh my god, Artyom just lost that. That's a big loss. Massive armor push! Mark Target is in effect. Take the shot. Oh, no rear armor. No, oh no! And air support comes on in. He does kill the king. Fire is coming on down, but Panther kills it. Artyom has lost everything. That, that, the thing was, Artyom was the guy getting the uppercuts in, right? Time on target does kill that, so I won't deny. Uh, Showtime, he's lost pretty much everything except for these units. Problem is, these units are still fucking good and he still has a panther, where RTM does not have anything. And I'm gonna guess Donnie is not in a much better state. He only has an IS-2. He's not a great tank destroyer, because it's a heavy tank, why would it be? Point is, wait, what, what about bad a bit? Bad a bit, dude. He needs another base, and then he can deploy another Panther. But allies have access, have time to breathe. Allies do not. Allies need to keep the pressure on, and they just can't. Right now, the biggest support they had is now dead. 
So without that, there's no more pressure on the left, which means he can probably come into mid and start wrecking his day. It is not good. It is not a good time to be an allied member because all that good, all the good stuff. Oh, is he? Oh, and okay, nice job, Showtime GC. Yeah, get all the wrecks. All right, big old blob pushing left. One shock troop is not gonna hold all. If you get a lucky grenade, maybe. Okay, the wrong person got a lucky grenade, but it it you know still counts. Still counts. Again, couple Jacksons to hold back the armor. I'm sure, Rebus uh, definitely taking some big. Uh, if he only has two F three units left. His armor is not exactly in good state. Although, nice kill, nice kill in the SWD five. Oh, nice double hit with the uh, you know. High explosive. Yadpons are showing why they're so good at singling out armor and sniping them. Combine that with the king, uh, you're looking at a, a very proactive axis play. Great snipes by the Yadpanzer again on the Jackson. This is where like AT guns really come in handy and fight these things. They have no counters for it. Nothing at all. Nice Shreks. Oh! They actually, uh. Okay. Now what? You have, a, you have a king with a damage engine. It's vet four. The damn thing can learn, uh, is still fighting like hell. Like, it's still fighting, won't die. Oh, we have surrender. The allies surrendered. Yeah, cause it makes sense. They couldn't capture the left. And yeah, everything fell apart. They, they did take the right back. I'll give the allies that. They did take right, but they did have double victory points for a time. Maybe they thought they couldn't hold it? Was Artyom... Artyom was slowly getting an army back, but it would it would have taken too much time. Yeah, I mean, Artyom probably should not have thrown all the 85s. I get what he was trying to do. It's like, yeah, I'm going to kill the king. Not worth it. Not worth it to sacrifice four or five T30 45s for one king. Uh, especially in a game like this where really you need them in order to keep hitting them back. The, uh, yeah, the, the, funny enough, killing the king was the biggest mistake. Uh, but yeah, overall, Axis determination. I, you know what, but I will give this. Allies, right, because I know a lot of people might say, Grey Shot, this was, you know, an Axis win, blah, blah, blah. Allies did a really good job at countering. A lot of times what I end up seeing is the, like, example. The Allies are the ones on the back foot. They are the, like, they, sorry, they have such a good, they have a strong first half and then in the second half is when you see the uh, you know one side falter and go down and they really don't come back here was the opposite the allies were down in the first like 16 20 minutes and then you really started to see them come back in a big way uh in the last it, like in gaining momentum they were pushed back to the fuel and the allies down on resources and men and everything were still fighting like hell uh and again, killing Badabit, killing Showtime was really what they needed to do. And then again, they just applied the pressure and brought the axes down way more than I thought they had any right to. I mean, look, Yale got 82,000 damage. By the way, Badabit submitted this, but he said Yale's the MVP, which, yeah, damage wise, yes. Kill wise, Arebus actually did pretty well. Um, although, KD wise, yeah, you're not wrong. Um, on the Allied side, Pedro, 65,000 damage. Top kills goes to Artyom. Uh, but yeah, solid, solid game. I cannot be mad about that at all. Uh, 126 kills with the T3045s. That's the kind of game I want to cast. Like where it's like, yeah, you know, they, you know it's it's kind of like a movie, right? The first act, a little rough, you know, do you having some issues? Okay, you know where it's going. No, and then it starts hitting you and you start getting some great plays and you start get, seeing some really good movement. Um, I still think an MG, I still think a caddy and stuff like that could have been good or keeping it alive, but... Yeah, no, really good plays by the allies across the board. And good plays by the Axis. Good sniping by the Agpanzers. Good artillery. Good uh, air support, co uh, you know, coming on in. Maybe, again, probably for the Axis, the uh, Blob of Falschermakers. Not the smartest play, but still. Um, not too shabby. Uh, I will say Jackson's a lot of damage, not a lot of kills. Um, let's see. Pedro. Oh, oh, wait. There we go. That's the damage. Also, not a lot of kills. Uh, I guess it was a Soviet, right? Uh, only two. Uh, bad a bit. 17 kills with that Panther. Uh, let's see. 
I guess four vehicles with that one. AT gun, not much uh, for showtime. 95 kills for the air the airborne troops. Uh, let's see, Jagdpanzer, 46,000 damage, nine kills. Although, nine vehicle kills on that, but 65 kills for the king. And I th the king was a one-timer, right? Yep, never lost the king. And then, uh, Arebus, uh, yeah, a little, little all over the place. Duke definitely got some good hits in. Overall, not bad. Not a bad game in any sense. Probably the out of the two, the better game of the night. So thank you, Bad a bit for this, that submission. Remember, submit your replays down below. Every little bit helps. Make sure to support the channel, like, subscribe, do what you do to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Because again, sometimes it likes me, sometimes it hates me. You can make sure it likes me all the time. So I do appreciate it. Thank you all again for watching. It's been GrayShot17, and I'll see you all next time. Hello everyone, this is GrayShot17, and before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters, JoeyG240, Malam, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyroshark, Tony B, 95 Epic Pleb, thank you all for your incredible support in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.